Throughout history, in almost every religion of the world, there has been this practice of fasting. Be it the Lent season of Christianity, Ramadan of Islam, or regular fasting on the days of Purnima, Ekadashi, and other festivities in Hinduism, all are followed till today. What are the health benefits of this fasting? And what changes can we make in today's life so that we can live a healthier life like our ancestors? In this video, I'll be talking about what changes we need to make in today's lifestyle so that we can live well in order to live long. Namaste, I'm Dr. Tejaswini and welcome to Best of Homeopathy. Did you observe that it was not just what I spoke but also the videos and other graphics that were displayed that made you to want to watch this video? And if I do not talk about the diet and lifestyle soon, you may even skip this video and definitely move on to the next one. This is a newly forming behavior pattern in us where we need immediate results. And without you even realizing it, it is slowly but definitely spoiling your health. So spare a few minutes and do watch the video till the end because no matter how many treatments you take, no doctors or medicines will be able to help you unless you correct your diet and today's lifestyle. There are three main chemicals which play a very important role in maintaining your blood pressure. You have sodium, insulin and cortisol. Insulin is a chemical which is released by your pancreas in order to digest carbohydrates in the food, which includes rice, potatoes, bread and other foods. Now more importantly, it is produced only between sunrise to sunset, meaning from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Which means the majority of the food which you eat, which includes carbohydrates, are actually digested only before 7 p.m. So if you're having your food after 7 p.m., the carbohydrates are not actually getting digested. They are simply converted into fat and stored in your body. So if you have your dinner very late at night, the fat naturally increases, which get deposited within your blood vessels. This causes the blood vessels to narrow down, which increases the blood pressure and your chances of developing heart attacks and also complications in the brain like stroke. This is why our ancestors or elders who followed early to bed and early to rise concept and lived well until their old age. So eating the correct food at the correct time and in right quantities is very important. Eating the correct food does not mean that you just reduce on salt, pickles or other spicy food. It also means along with following this, you need to include foods which are rich in potassium, magnesium and calcium which maintains good BP and also protects your heart. So include foods like sweet potatoes, green leafy vegetables, bananas and other fruits, nuts and seeds and also milk and milk products like paneer and curd. And also if you are a meat eater, then include fish, eggs and liver in your diet regularly. This is called as the DASH diet and is recommended for all hypertensive patients. The next is eating at the right time. So set the right time for your meals and try to follow it as much as possible. Along with this, very importantly, practice occasional fasting. If you are not able to fast for an entire day, just begin with intermittent fasting where you keep your stomach completely empty for a period of 12 hours. Let me explain this to you. So if you have your dinner at 7 in the night, then till next morning, that is 7 a.m., do not have anything including coffee, tea, milk or other snacks. During this 12 hour period, your body completely digests whatever food you have eaten and then rests along with you as you sleep. You can also opt to prolong this fasting period for a maximum of 16 hours which means if you have had your dinner at 7 p.m., then you can have your next day morning breakfast at around 11 o'clock in the morning. By following this type of fasting, you can not only lose some extra weight if you have any, but also end up feeling more healthy and energetic. The next very important but very much ignored point is eating the right quantity of food. So before our elders used to eat to live, but today many are living to eat. No matter how much food a person eats, our body digests only the required amount and uses it and stores the remaining as fat. And as you know by now, that will definitely lead to developing high BP, obesity, heart problems and other issues. Another chemical to talk about here is the cortisol or the stress hormone. I have spoken about how stress can affect your blood pressure and how it can be treated with homeopathic remedies in part 1 of the video. If you have not seen the video, I have left the link in the description. Please watch it after completely watching this particular video. So cortisol is a stress hormone, which means say you're walking by the road and all of a sudden there is a snake in front of you. That is one kind of a sudden stress and you know how your body is going to react to it. Now the same hormone is released whenever you are stressed in any other way. 
be it your exams, be it your work area, be it fights or if you are running late to the office. Unfortunately, our body considers facing a snake as well as your everyday stress as the same and produces cortisol. And that is very dangerous. Cortisol makes your BP to raise and damages your heart. So, if you are in stress for a very long time, then naturally you will develop heart blocks, heart attacks and other complications. So, as I said earlier, if you live well, you can live long. To bring your very stressful life under control, you don't have to spend even a single rupee. You can follow some of these simple steps and see how the quality of your life has improved. Go to sleep and wake up one hour before your usual time. Now, do not use this time to scroll through your phone, but rather spend time with family or you can also finish off your morning routines, have breakfast and live early to your work. Next, plan your day in advance and more importantly, finish off the most difficult work first. By doing so, you will be removing the biggest stress of your day and can spend the rest of your day much relaxed. Take a real break between your work. Go for a walk or look out of the window to relax. Switching from your work screen to your mobile is not actually a break because in both the cases, your brain has to work in the same pattern, which means you're not relaxing at all. Next, set a no digital time for everyone at home in the evenings. Connect with the actual people in front of you who matter the most rather than people on the social media who are actually just as stressed as you are. So in conclusion, you can easily bring your BP under control by following just three steps. Eat the right food at the right time, practice some kind of fasting and plan your day in advance and make the right choices. If you found this video easy to follow and helpful, share it among your friends and family and subscribe to get more such informative content. Stay healthy. Thank you.